Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gamity on Cars. Now today we're going to talk about a very special car that is sort of like a unicorn for the U.S. market that it is finally coming here. The European market has got this car forever, you know, the last few generations, but we are talking about the 2020 Audi RS6 Avant. Um, it has just released yesterday and it is absolutely stunning. I think this really might be the perfect all-around car that checks all the boxes for performance and styling and technology. Now you're looking at my desktop, it is still when I was at the beach. Uh, I haven't had a car on my desktop for a while, so let's get right into it. Okay, so this is the article that Jalopnik posted. Jalopnik is my favorite car website. You know, they have serious stuff, but they also have fun with it and do funny, you know, articles and stuff. So this is the 2020 Audi RS6 Avant. Now it's almost like the what the S-Class is to Mercedes and what the M3 is to BMW, it's sort of like the RS6 Avant is to Audi. It's like it's almost like a unicorn in the sense that it's it's probably the best car that Audi will make. I mean, there are other cars that these companies make, but I think the M3 and the S-Class are the overall best car that each company makes. I'm talking about the other two German companies, but the Audi RS6 Avant um, hasn't been in the U.S. for a couple years. Uh, only the Europeans have got it, but we are finally getting this car in 2020 uh, for the U.S. market. Now, I know somebody who is getting this car, and they are third in line at my local Audi dealership to get this car. So I think there's a good chance that this guy might get it. So maybe I'll get to see one of these in the flesh, you know, in the not too distant future. So let's talk about the specs of this car, what I think about it, and all the all the juicy details. So. This car has a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 with 591 horsepower. I mean, this color, I think it's called like Daytona Gray. It's a matte finish. It is absolutely stunning, okay? Now, I'm going to post a little bit of clips from a YouTube channel called Mr. JWW, who is one of the best YouTubers around. He's not the most popular, but he did a very in-depth look of a McLaren Speedtail and the Lotus Evaya, I think, and he gets unbelievable access to these cars because he is the owner of a previous generation RS6 Avant and what he called Merlin Purple. I'll put a picture on the screen, but that is the color to get for this car. Merlin Purple, if they still offer that. Now, this color is called Daytona Gray. Um, it has the silver trim, which is right here, and in the front and in the back, which is sort of an RS treatment uh, design language, I guess you could say, for the RS. Now, 4 liter twin turbo V8, 591 horsepower, 590 foot pounds of torque. It also has a mild hybrid system, which is kind of like a Kerr system that F1 cars use. It's called Kinetic Energy Recovery System, which essentially, if you're off the gas, there's a belt that gets driven that can store energy to also help you with your, I guess, your acceleration runs, but just to help a little bit on the fuel economy because I bet it is not too good. So this car will have a 0 to 60 time right here, 3.6 seconds, which an initial max speed of 155. Who cares? You know, we're not in Germany. Or you can get it up to 189 with the Dynamic Package Plus optioned. But just looking at the styling of this car, well, this is funny too. Audi was sort of being cryptic on their Twitter saying, Summoning Circle, hope this works, uh, to Avant in the U.S. I don't know where you get the name Avant that means uh, wagon. I think Avant means like before in uh, French, so I don't know, for a German company. So they say, anyway, here's a bunch of photos of it looking sporty and edgy and muscular. Now, I recently was lucky enough to do an, a review of the brand new Audi e-tron that had the interior design that this car has, and it is just, it's great. I mean, I, I have nothing bad to say about it. By the way, this steering wheel still looks like uh, my wife's car, the Q5, it's just a little bit updated right here. So it has the two screens uh, on the bottom, has your HVAC controls, but you can also write on the screen. Uh, I, I did that firsthand, it was pretty damn cool. Uh, you've got all your media up here. This cognac leather I think is is uh, exclusive, or maybe the, the seat design is exclusive to the RS6 Avant, but we're gonna hopefully see in detail too. The, the dash uh, design is laid out, laid out here. It's still the virtual cockpit plus, I think it is, but they have a, an a tack here that looks like a LaFerrari or sort of that goes up, you know, as opposed to like a normal sweeping needle. But let's just look at some more pictures. So, yeah, this this front angle is is just gorgeous. And we all know that Audi and other car brands have huge grills in the front, but I like that this one is blacked out. I didn't even notice before that this is where the radar cruise control is. I know that the new Audi S6 
sedan had these and they were just sort of not hidden. I, I kind of like the way BMW hides them better than Audi does. BMW has like a, a circle thing down here, but I didn't even notice them at first. So when I was driving the e-tron, I, I sort of deduced that Audi styling is, I'm not going to say conservative as far as the body lines go, but they go crazy with the lights in the front and the back. Now, in Mr. JWW's video, there's a, a if when you unlock the car, there's a sequence that the full matrix LEDs, they call them, do. And it is just so cool. I would never get sick of it. I mean, they, they, they run in and then completely light up. I'll post a video here, but it's just so good looking. I mean, the RS cars have this silver trim here on the front and the sides, and you can option that in carbon fiber, which 100% I would do if I was specking this car. Um, just the the side profile, um, it's hard to see in pictures, but I, maybe I'll post some videos, but the width is like a couple inches wider than a normal A6 Avant. I mean, it's just so wide. Um, yeah, the RS cars sort of have this... Um, I don't know what you call this line here. Now it doesn't have a standard diffuser, which Mr. J Dub talked about. But yeah, this is the back. Uh, the, the the rear LEDs do that little dance too, which is so cool. You've always had two huge exhausts here in the, the previous generation RS6. But yeah, this car is it's it's perfect. There's not anything you can say bad about it. It's a wagon, so you have more space. You know, put your kids stuff or your dogs. It's 600 horsepower, zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. I mean unbelievable technology so this is pretty much I'm gonna say this is gonna knock the Mercedes E63 down just a little bit I mean this is the latest and greatest which it normally is but this car is just pretty pretty damn perfect now like I said before I have a friend who might be getting one of these and then since he sort of goes through cars sort of quickly I may have another friend that might be interested in this car um, if you if you know me um, you know who I'm talking about, but this could be uh, quite the car uh, for your family and could fulfill your performance needs too. Now, they haven't released much about pricing so far, but I'm going to guess it's going to be about $105,000, $110,000, which surely is a shitload of money, but I think for the overall package that you get with this car, um, it's quite uh, a deal. The other thing in Mr. J-Dub's video these wheels are 22 inch wheels, but the reason that they are so big is because they have 10 pot calipers uh, with the ceramic uh, brakes, which I think the ceramic brakes are standard. Um, the other thing that he said was you can get uh, an optional hydraulic suspension, or you can get an air suspension, which is definitely lets you float over the road, but you can also get an Audi Sport tuned suspension, which has like uh, hydraulic dampers that you know adjust for a million times a second to get you the perfect compliant ride but yeah I'm gonna say this car is pretty pretty perfect um, I, I want to do a video maybe where I can figure one of these just I gotta see if they have that purple color but yeah what do you guys think of this car I think it is 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 unbelievable it's it's perfect I, I there's nothing you can say bad about it he did say that these two lines here are, are what Audi calls the power dome meaning no other A6 cars have that. It's only exclusive to this car that has the 4-liter uh, twin-turbo V8. That's the other thing. The E63 is also a 4-liter uh, twin-turbo V8. So BMW, where, where are you at with the M5 uh, estate, I guess you could say, in the British parlance? But yeah, this uh, this car is, is awesome. I, I'm so glad that the U.S. is finally getting it. Um, Audi released a video the other day talking about you know the heritage of of this family growing up with all the Audi wagons and this is just the latest uh, in line. This is the 2020 Audi RS6 Avant. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this car and if you have anything bad to say about it, I'm going to say you're wrong. No, I'm kidding. So anyway, stay tuned. I uh, got a lot of cool stuff coming out. I might be right driving a uh, Range Rover Sport this weekend. That should be fun. Um, I just drove a Hyundai Veloster today. That was a fun little car. So. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at GemmyDeonCars, also Twitter as well. So leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you.